Hi friends, today I will explain how to take quantities from drawings. Drawings means uh, sometimes we will get hard copies or from soft copy. If we are taking quantities from drawings, first we have to check the drawings. In all set drawings, first one drawing sheet will be there, list of drawings, list of drawings. In that one like this they will give general, survey, architectural, structural, then mechanical, plumbing, fire alarm. Like that all type of works list they will give. For us, um, for this aluminium, always drawings are coming in architectural heading. See, you can see this general drawings. Setting out plan, basement plan, ground floor, first floor, second floor, like that it will give wall section and a schedule of doors and windows. This is the our part, schedule of doors and windows. In this schedule only, we can understand which type means uh, aluminium or wooden, like that. From schedule of drawings, we have to calculate this uh, number of windows and type of windows number we have to calculate from plan um, and in schedule also they will provide the quantities but for tender we can quote as per that uh, schedule of drawings quantity no problem but when it is in job in hand we should have to check this one um, quantities as per plans that's why um, whenever we are quoting if we are getting time if we are while uh, doing tender also we have to check drawings also so otherwise if any big windows are missing then it will be a big difference will come in this um, quotation amount that's why then first i will show you how to take quantities from schedule of drawings this is the first sheet of schedule of drawings see in this one it is showing first one dw1 partly fixed and partly hinged that means you can see from this drawing see it's this portion F is showing it's a fixed portion H is showing this is hinged portion that means this is hinged door that's why for openings only like this symbol is showing is showing this one is for openings that's why uh, it's a hinged door is coming in that one and um, they given the size location basement lobby number see quantity we are getting from here but we cannot tell this one is correct because this is always tender drawing and uh, quantity checking is our responsibility this consultant is providing these drawings if any difference is there in quantity they will not pay that one we have to check drawings that's our responsibility that's why if we are doing tender normally people they are not getting time then they will quote as per this quantity then description see powder coated aluminium framed door window double glazed with 6 mm reflective glass and 6 mm clear glass 6 mm reflective glass and 6 mm clear glass fire rated as per civil defense requirements yes, that means this is double glazed glass 6 mm plus 6 mm 6 mm glass is coming this reflective glass we are providing always outside clear glass is giving inside and in between these two glass there one um, insulation will be there 12 mm air space will be there 12 mm normally we are giving then 6 plus 12 plus 6 will come then 24 will be the thickness of glass total insulated glass see next one dw2 they see in this one they given u valley shading coefficient this one is for glass see they here they given 6 mm blue reflective belgium heat strengthened glass plus 12 mm air gap plus 6 mm tempered clear glass like this they will give this one all glass always we have to take quotation uh, for glass some companies they will have their own um, glass manufacturing otherwise we have to take quotation from outside okay then here also see one hinged door is there then fixed portion is there next one this one is one big curtain wall 
in this also uh, one uh, two doors are humming there is one single leaf hinged door and this double leaf hinged door these two are double leaf hinged doors then if it is hinged or sing door uh, in elevation we will show same like this only but from plan only we can identify this sing door or hinged door otherwise sometimes they will give in a specific uh, specification also here they given uh, partly fixed and partly hinged then it's a hinged door showroom and runs number one one quantity is there see all you value shading coefficient everything they given here like this is coming then um, how we are making this quantities uh, i will show you one um, excel sheet how we are making as per this drawing see here they given solid part this one i uh, told yesterday i told no vision panel and spandrel panel this area solid part is coming there only we are providing which one spandrel panel here all our vision panels are giving see in all drawings they provided like this see this is completely fixed cut and work see this one top hung is given opening top hung openings like this drawings are coming see this cut and work this one location they given showroom and offices uh, this building is one office building that's why uh, then see this curtain wall we have to check always see this one ground floor then first floor second floor and lower roof floor that means this one is coming from ground to roof floor then when we are taking quantities we should have to take care because um, if we are checking this ground floor plan it will be there this um, which one is cw2 is the name of this cut and wall then it will be there in ground floor in plan in first floor also in plan it will be there in second floor also plan it will be there in lower roof floor plan also they will show this cw2 i will show this one in plan when we are calculating quantities don't take this um, in all floors if it is coming from ground floor to roof floor you have to take one quantity one card i will show this one in plan then you will understand this is the plan this is ground floor plan ground floor plan see this one is cw2 it is marked like this this is ground floor plan when you are counting this um, cw2 number you will count in ground floor one number then see in first floor also it's showing first floor plan see in first floor plan also in first floor plan also it's showing cw2 then next plan we will check second floor plan see in the second floor plan also cw2 is showing see in all plans it is showing ground floor plan first floor plan second floor plan like that that's why when we are taking quantities we have to check the height of the elevation of windows or curtain walls or doors because if it is coming from ground floor to roof floor it will be one item will be there quantity maybe two or three will be there if maybe it will come on right elevation and the same curtain wall will come on left elevation but in this project only one quantity is coming that's why i'm telling and now i think everybody understands so this um, spandrel panel and vision panel and how we are taking this quantity also today i told about this louis these are louis now i think everybody knows this louis see powder coated aluminium louis door it is providing in location garbage room for garbage room always it is providing louis door next one is powder coated aluminium louis door provided in substation substation is the law. for substation also always we are giving um, powder coated aluminium door louver door but 
for substation here as per deva rule the by municipality rules we have to provide some specific sections that i will tell when we are doing this estimation now that time i will show that how to make this quantity calculation sheet i will show this one first we this one is my method of calculation everybody will have their own method of calculation what i am doing that i am explaining here okay first i will give the serial number then description description means um, that in that schedule they show no dw1 dw2 cw1 like that we will write here then size which size they given that we will give here then ground floor then first we have to consider which floor first is there if basement is there basement floor if ground is there ground floor if it's starting from ground floor then ground floor i think in this one basement floor also is there i return from ground floor uh, ground floor first floor second floor roof floor up to which floor is there that we have to give then third floor is there then third like that which whatever is there that we have to give then quantity total quantity and a consultant quantity also we have to give i will show you how to write that see this dw1 then we have to write first one serial number then dw1 then size we have to give size what is the size 2.4 by 2.4 meter we have to check from drawing also if it is correct or not sometimes they will mention by mistake here that's why then this is correct 2.4 by 2.4 in meter we are mentioning here 4 meter okay then this one is provided in basement floor here basement floor also is there we have to give one more quantity basement floor here basement floor also coming then basement floor and the ground floor basement floor is there in basement floor two numbers is given in their schedule that we have to check uh, right here in consultant quantity two numbers okay then next one dw2 dw2 then we have to write that one second one dw2 dw2 is given 4.95 by 3 meter size then we have to check that size here 4.95 by 3 it's correct then we have to write that one dw2 4.95 3 okay that also they given office and run lobby location floor they didn't mention okay then maybe it in ground floor only office and run lobby is coming we can check as per plan quantity how much they given number they given two then we have to uh, add in the this column consultant quantity two like that all you have to write like this all drawings you have to write like this next one is dw4 they given dw after dw2 they given dw4 then same like this we have to write dw4 next one dw4 size is 7.22 by 5.45 by 5.45 this one we have to check always from drawing also 5.45 and 7.22 is correct okay consultant quantity is number one that we have to write here okay sometimes i'm not showing next i will show you one uh, different elevation see here length is more and here length is less like that now that one i am showing like this next item cw3 in this one see size they didn't given in their uh, schedule they didn't given the size here we have to calculate size from here 7.1 plus 9.15 then 16.25 with 16.25 by height we have to write full width up to where it's coming 8.3 meter only that height only we have to give 8 point then again in if you are doing i am doing this one in x i will show you in x there but just for explaining i am writing in this paper when you are doing that just you have to increase the width of this row then this portion 
only this portion how much is coming 7.1 7.1 how much is the here height see 6.45 6.45 okay how much is the quantity is given consultant one number one number is the quantity yeah you can write if you are writing separately like this you can write in two columns otherwise in one column only you can write okay one quantity is coming that you have to like this you have to write see this one from ground floor to roof floor it's coming cw3 okay then i will show you how you are calculating this one from plan okay, then we are taking first plan this is basement floor plan i took this plan and from here we have to check when we are taking quantities from starting we have to do whatever is there coming this aluminium see first one dw1 then our quantity is here dw1 right dw1 see dw1 the same area is coming here also one and run here also one is a dw1 two numbers is coming then we have to write as per this dw1 in basement floor quantity two numbers then next one more item is coming here w1 also coming w1 that also we are we didn't write here that item we have to write w1 from schedule all items you have to write one by one one by one like that all then w1 also will come here i didn't write that one then w1 w1 see here one number is coming and same area one more is coming here w1 then two numbers two numbers this is like this we have to take all item quantities from drawing this one just i will show you in excel sheet how it's making See, just I made this, whatever I written in paper, just I copied that all into Excel sheet. First uh, column, we given serial number, description, size, then basement floor, quantity, ground floor, first floor, second floor, roof floor, like that we have given. Then I show you uh, this consultant quantity we had to fill. consultant quantity always will not be correct anyway we have that is our responsibility quantity checking is quantity survey's responsibility who is doing this job in hand that their responsibility is how to check we have to check quantity and we how to check we are explaining here then i already showed you then as per drawing cdw1 in basement floor two numbers are coming then we ended that two numbers like this this we have to check all the quantities then from from uh, ground floor we have to check then first floor second floor lower roof floor like that from plan we have to check all the quantities doors and windows we have to enter it here but um, almost big companies they will have their own software for taking quantities um, when i was working in construction we were using their blue beam software that's very simple software we can take all quantities from drawing just we are giving one tick mark like this then summary in summary it will come how many dw1 is there then if we are taking this two dw1 automatically when we are taking dw1 that two numbers quantity will show like that almost companies they are providing their own software then we can do in that one otherwise we have to check from hard copy or so any soft copy soft if we are taking quantities from soft copy anyway we have to use any software otherwise we cannot find out like that no that's why in uh, if you are taking from hard copy i showed like this but if you are using soft copy and um, where you are working they will give one demonstration how to take quantities like this we are taking quantities i think everybody understand if anybody has doubt just give on comments i will explain I think everybody understand this and how we are taking quantities from schedule and how we are checking with the plan and all. If anybody is having doubt, just comment below. I will explain. 
and you have to give here in total quantity column you have to give the sum up to here from where quantity is starting from there then you will get automatically this total quantities in this column okay then just you have to give difference here from uh, total quantity to consultant quantity just give one equation here and drag that equation to down also then you will get wherever quantities difference is there then we can check easily where it is coming difference here we given didn't give any quantities that's why it given like this if we are giving here any numbers it will come automatically as zero Just I am giving one example only. See it will come automatic. Wherever in this column any difference is coming. Then we can check easily where it is coming. Then we can again check in that plan. Uh, maybe in uh, from our side also sometimes mistake is coming now. Then we can check. Uh, here difference is there. Oh, okay. We will check once again like that. That's why I am I made like this one simple column. Otherwise, uh, if we are uh, doing as per consultant quantity, no need for making this much big sheet and all. Actually, it's a time taking. But anyway, we have to check quantity. That is the procedure. If we are doing one quotation, we, we have to check all the quantities. If anybody need this soft copy, just comment below our video. I will add the link of the soft copy in description.